one. Linda here again with you from Gumlut Lane Jewelry. Um, got another, um, have a guess what, <laughs> another link. But I think you're going to like this one. This is a really nice one. I, I love it. I think it's beautiful. And it's just going to make it necklaces or whatever you put it into um, just pop. So, yeah, this. so this is the link that we're going to be making. And I've got a few variations for you on that one as well. As a couple and as well as a couple of different ideas for um, putting it into a chain um, you could use it in an earring as an earring component and also in, an, in a bracelet so um, if you'd like to uh, join me and learn how to make this then uh, just stay with me I'll get all my supplies together and I'll get right back with you okay so this one I'm doing in a uh, uh, square wire so I have a, what is my gauge on that? It's a, oh, that's the wrong one. Hold on, sorry. It's a 18 gauge square wire. There. Um, and I'm doing it in square wire because I've got, as you saw, a whole big reel of square wire there and I rarely ever use it. So I thought I would use it. And I'm pretty sure you'd be able to do this doing uh, round wire. So give it a go and see um, what you uh, think of the uh, square wire, uh, the round wire, sorry. Um, okay, so I've cut them at four and, uh, four and a half centimetres, which is one and six eighths of an inch. So I've got three of them the same size and they're nice and straight. So I'm going to come in with my six step pliers here and i'm using the very small one i'm not sure what these measurements are on that they're not written on here anywhere but it's very small but i would say it's probably only about one millimeter maybe maybe two at the maximum i'm yeah i'm not sure but anyway the very small one so i'm going to come right to the end of that uh piece of wire there and i'm going to turn a loop Just like that and I'm going to come in with my bent nose find those pliers and just get in there and straighten that up so I bent it back a little bit broken the neck whatever you want to call it and I'm going to close that up so I'm going to do that on all three so I'll come back when I've got the three of those done and we'll continue Okay, while I was off camera, I decided I would turn the other end. So it's exactly the same as I showed you uh, before. So we've got our three pieces of wire there with uh, loops at, at both ends. And now I'm going to grab uh, one of my 16 gauge jump rings here. And it's open. So just make sure you thread these on the, on the, um, on the same way with, uh, you know, they're facing the same way. So we've got three of those on there. Close this jump ring up. Okay. Now I've got a piece of uh, 24 gauge wire that I cut at uh, 13 centimeters. Uh, it's, that's just an estimation for me. I, I don't usually measure, but I measure for you guys. Uh, so that's uh, about, roughly about five inches. I'll just move these tools out of the way and just make sure you've got them nice and flat your three bars and we're going to just attach this wire so just get him wrapped around there so he's holding on and then I'm going to wrap you can wrap as many times as you like. Totally up to you. Let's say I'm going to go four. Just push those together. And now I've got a three millimeter uh, lapis lazuli uh, little faceted bead here. Find that hole, pop him in. And just lay him down on top of those three wires there. And I'm 
I'm going to wrap around once, come up and over, and now I'm going to wrap around the bead. And take that around twice. Across the front and then up and around. I mightn't have enough to get the five, but I'm not worried about that. No one's going to notice that. That's, uh, I should have like just cut a little bit more wire. But these things happen to me all the time because I don't measure and it never worries me. As I've said before, and I'll say it again, we're doing free form. So I don't think anything has to look perfect. Just get that little bit of wire over there. Okay, cut this other one up the end here. I just want to bring these together and then I'll trim it. I not trim it, flatten it, I mean. And then just see where he's sitting on that on that bar, I want him in the middle, and then you can tighten those uh, wires up. Don't squash them madly, I'm just doing this very gently. Okay, that looks pretty good to me, and then just a absolutely gorgeous day here today spring day it's absolutely beautiful and uh, when you guys are watching this video it will be my birthday my birthday is the 8th of October so that's the day this video will come out for you guys but my birthday here would have actually been the hold on let me think here you see it on a Monday so when it comes out for me it will be on a Tuesday so Tuesday will be my birth. Uh, I'm getting, <laughs> I get all mixed up with these things. Yeah, the day that you see this will be my birthday. That's so I'm going to leave it at that. But I'll be a day older here in Australia, if that makes sense. No, I won't. It comes out on a Monday for you. It comes out on a Monday for you. And I post it here on a Tuesday. So... Oh, I'm not even going to go. I can't figure it out. <laughs> okay, so that's our our link there. And uh, when I come back, we shall um, put this together in, in something. I haven't even decided. I haven't got anything going at the moment that I'm making that um, I need to put a chain with. So I'll figure something out. We'll, um, you know, it could actually even be a really nice bar link for a bracelet you could if you wanted something dainty and fine you could use that like that an earring um that would be a beautiful post for an earring just add a drop there your ear wire at the top maybe use um smaller jump ring obviously uh yeah i think it could be a gorgeous does that look centered to you not quite to me anyway i'll play around with that so that's um, that's that link. A very easy one, but I think absolutely stunning. And uh, yeah, yeah, just I can just imagine in a necklace. So anyway, that's what we'll do when I come back. We'll put something together. Okay, I'm back with you. Um, so I'm not actually going to put a full chain together in this uh, tutorial. Uh, I just honestly couldn't come up with any... Uh, things that I actually wanted to incorporate into anything that I'm making at the moment, if that makes sense. 
So what I did come up with though is uh, using the little link that I showed you um, and popping a different link uh, in the middle. So that could be sort of, you know, uh, a focal part of your chain. And then you could either just uh, chain all the way around with a, um, a pendant at the bottom or you could make some more of these up and then just disperse them through putting the chain in. Um, but my idea is this is the focal and then I would, if I was going to add anything else, I would just have chain and maybe a couple of these and just leave that there as, as it is. Um, I also wanted to show you a couple of other ideas. Now this is uh, another one, I'm not using uh, beads, so I've just used some twisted wire and wrapped that around, made sort of like a little cross thing in the in the center of it. And uh, what else have I got here? Now this is another one, uh, the same as this one here, but using a uh, a different bead just to get so you can get an idea of it, what it looks like with something a different color in there. So there's that one. And this one here again is tw twisted wire, but I've just wrapped it around um, uh, five times. So I, I did that one. You could do it three. You could do it as many times as, as you like. Uh, one more. And this one. That because it's got the square wire, I decided I would use the um, half round and make the little um, jump rings there. But, you know, when it's sort of sitting at it does that sort of thing anyway they move up and down on, on the chain so it'll be movement on your chain as well so an, an idea for something like that this is just something i quickly came up with you could have say and it you can make them all the same you say you don't because i'm putting in different ones here it's because this is all i've got um here at the moment so if you had them all the same you and i got myself some washers look at this i got a little little thing of washers which I've been having fun with playing with but if you don't have washers it doesn't matter you can um, make these you know just make huge big jump rings using like uh, 14 gauge 12 gauge um, wire and make your own and then wrap it do something like this with it um, you could also hammer these um, and hammer the ones if you make them yourself as well uh, that's another option so you could put something like this together just uh, as I said, this was just a quick idea. Uh, so you got something, something coming down. Move this up a little bit so I can fit them in. Hopefully, I've got them all on camera. Oop, come here. So I'm not going to get all that on camera. So I'm going to try and bend them around a little bit, just so you can get an idea. So something like that, you know, you could put together in a chain and then just obviously attach them with a jump ring or however you would like to attach them. Might as well pop that one in there. Yeah, so just a little idea for you there for that one. Um, okay, well, that's our tutorial for this week. So uh, uh, what do I want to say? Oh, yeah, don't forget about Facebook Um I'll leave a link down the bottom for Facebook. It's a private free free group. Um, I think we've got about 55 members or something like that going now. Um, people are posting their projects, which is absolutely great. I love seeing what everybody's been up to. Um, so you can join that down there. As I said, it's totally free. There's also my Patreon. Uh, I'll leave a link down the bottom for that as well. Uh, that's, I've dropped the price down from that from $8 to $5.99 a month. I'm trying to make it affordable for most people. Um, and if you don't want to pay monthly, you can buy a, a tutorial individually. And they're priced individually on there. So, uh, yeah, I guess that's all I've got to say. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please give me a like. And uh, as always, leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you guys um, what you think about my tutorials. Uh, you know, what you've been up to, what whatever, you know, you just say hello. And uh, also too, I was thinking about when I mentioned earlier my birthday. So when my video comes out, now hopefully I've got this right, when my video comes out, 
which will be your Monday. It's my Tuesday here when that comes out. So my birthday is on the Tuesday, um, the 8th of October. So, yeah, that's, I think I've pretty much got that straight in my head. I just, I had to think about that. And I thought, why can't I get this straight? But this whole time zone thing really uh, messes around with you. Um, all right, guys. Uh, so that's all I've got to say. And I shall see you all next week in uh, next week's video. Take care and please go out there and make something beautiful. Bye. Bye.